All right, we're back at the Canal Lanes in Southampton, Mass. For the singles knockout of the last event here on the WNECA Pro Tour. We have eight bowlers remaining. We have Steve Martell bowling against Kirby Kapalis on lanes three and four. There's no handicap, this is a scratch match. Kirby's working on a strike. Nice shot. It's a real nice shot for him. Over here on lanes five and six, we have Gordon Pomeroy. Gordon represents the Candle Lanes in Pittsfield, Mass. And we have Charlie Dutras. Charlie represents the home house here, Canal Lanes. Southampton. He's bowling against Matt Baker from the Candle Lanes in Pittsfield, Mass. Matt's at 46, Richie's at 62. Gordon Pomeroy with a big strike and a 72 and a two ball half. Charlie Dutras with a strike and a 56 and two ball half. Bowlers will be switching sides to Michael Myrick. Down on the right, we have the top five of the day bowling against each other. We're into the semi-final match between Gary Santora and Rich Bober. The winner of this match will move on to take on top seed Steven Reno for the title and a $750 first prize. All our bulls in a single lockout are looking for a little refund on their tour expense this year. We had some money set aside for the bulls that did not make the top five this year on at any of our six events. And they're participating now. It's a $425 entry fee to join the four. And our top bowler on the singles knockout. Charlie, you had a pin missing. No eight pin. No eight pin, Charlie, it was missing. Charlie Jutras didn't have an eight pin. He's gonna get the re uh, re roll that ball. May pay out in the long run for him. Hi, nice, Steve-O. One this year, amazing, huh? Hey, a big shot, big double. He took advantage of it. Jutras took advantage of it, and that's why he's in the Hall of Fame. Even at 76 years old, he still got it. Big ball for Charlie. Okay, Martell and Kapalis down the end here. Chucky Norm received the bye into this next round by luck of the draw. Martell's at 66 in a ball. Kapalis at 83 in a ball. Charlie filling that double strike with a six and it tightens the matchup. Charlie will need another pin to take the lead. That's what he gets. He's up by one pin with four boxes remaining against Gordon Pomeroy. Gordon's going to take a seven here in the seventh frame for 95. Oh, 
Myrick's going to win his matchup against Matt Baker. Matt's a fine young bowler in the making. Got a good future in front of him. Big ball for Myrick. Big ball for Jutris. He's at 96. He's up by one pin. Myrick another spare. 112 and a bonus ball for roll in the final frame for Myrick. Matt Baker's going to finish with a tough 93. That's a Marcus 93. Some great pinning. He's going to buy a break. Armory with 9. 104. Jutris with 10, 106, the two pin difference. Nice job, guys. Good job, Reggie. All right, let's come down and check out our final couple boxes here. See Martel's at 91 in a bonus ball. Irby Kapalis is at 109, working on a strike. Looks like Irby's going to be moving on unless Steve can throw a strike here. Morning. Down to the last two frames. Big nine for Steve. It's a big spear. It's a big spear. Allie will need his spear. He's on it. A little light. He's going to come down to the final box. Well, Irby Kapalis will be moving on. Way down to the right side, we have the top two bowlers of the day going head to head. Gary Santora beat out Rich Bober, and he's bowling against top seed Steven Reno now. He just so happens to be my son. Steven's going to need to win this match against Gary to be crowned bowler of the year. I know Dave uh, Dupree, who's sitting in the back. We'll be waiting to see what happens here. We'll come down to Dave and Steven on today's event. Pomeroy filling that spear with five. He's up by four pins. Jutrus is going to need a mark, and he gets the big nine pin drop. He has one pin remaining. He's going to come down to this ball. Pomeroy on the object. He took out the four horsemen. Couldn't get the ten pin, though. Jutrus needs a single pin. Unable to convert. Gordon Pomeroy is going to be moving on. Well, we're going to take another break and we'll come back with our top four bowlers in the singles knockout round, so don't go away.